Hello everyone and welcome back to Sahula Sand Safari where we are currently watching our brand new spotty cat speaker Rebecca, an educator, give a talk at the Jaguar exhibit. And yes, normally we wouldn't have Jaguars in an African safari area, but we're using them as pretend stand-ins for the leopards who have decided to move in now that we don't have any lions and go ahead and take over the territory at least until the lionesses come back when we are done with the comprehensive conservation challenge Phew. so now that we have gotten that out of the way look at them the jaguars are so cute and we've got little babies as well we definitely need to try to do our best to entertain all of the people who want to come over here they listen to the speech whoa there's so many of them Look at that, I really enjoyed Animal Talk too. Oh, that's so fun. And now I think their education, look at that, their education's at 100%. Yes, that is fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead and change this Animal Talk to just about Jaguars. There we go. And then we'll name the other Animal Talk that our speaker is currently working at. No educator assigned, pardon? All right, we gotta add that to the work zone for the moon lion pride who is currently missing over here but they'll come back eventually all right and then we're gonna go ahead and name this can you spot the spotted babies there we go oh and a serious injury discovered with our warthog oh dear all right he's thirsty and he's injured i have no idea what aliki was up to <gasps> and simba has passed away oh so Simba the Third, our excellent zebra, who has been around for a very, very long time, uh, he doesn't quite know that he has passed on yet. He, he's just sleeping, you guys. He's just sleeping. But Simba has actually passed on, and that means we need to find a new leader of this zebra herd here in the vast horizons because the zebra are actually one of the creatures that we're currently working on for our challenge the comprehensive conservation challenge let me find where we have our little challenge point where i can share with you guys just for a quick reminder the animals that we are currently working on breeding up and releasing into the wild aha there it is here's my challenge center so the animals we're currently working with are the jaguars, which is why they have made an appearance in Sahula Sands, just for the sake of this challenge. We'll probably swap them back out for lions once the challenge is over. We're working with the zebra, which is why we need to get a new leader of the herd, a new stallion to kind of take over the zebra herd in Vast Horizons now that Simba the Third has passed on. And we're working with the African buffalo. And today we're actually going to be doing a lot of work with the African buffalo to figure out why we haven't been able to unlock more research about them yet. I think we're missing a research station for our archaeologist, Relia. And we're going to see why they haven't gotten any babies yet. I am quite perturbed because I thought we should have plenty of African buffalo babies at this point, and we don't. And we're also going to make some progress on the challenge because we haven't released, like, in more than one animal so far. <laughs> we're going to try to make more progress on the challenge by coming over to the animal market. And we are going to be searching for African buffalo that we can just go ahead and adopt. Let's see, there's the American bison. There's American bison. Oh, look at that guy. So we're gonna be searching for African buffalo that are for sale for low conservation credit points, if there happen to be any out and about. Or look at these jaguars. Oh, look at that. These jaguars that have low uh, conservation point cost, we can actually adopt and release to make some progress. And we can say that's because of the research we're doing on the <coughs> leopards. <coughs> And that would actually really help out. So, okay, we might be doing that. It's kind of a cheaty way because you don't end up raising these babies yourself. But I like to interpret it as we earned the conservation credits here in Suhula Sands so that we could afford to buy them and release them. So it's more comprehensive because it's like, say, releasing cheetahs. In fact, if we released a cheetah, for instance, and I think we actually have a, like, if we released Shaded the cheetah, into the wild, he would be worth like 482 conservation credits. And we could say that that was trading him his conservation credits out. Then you come over and you get an animal from the animal market for around 400 credits, like this bongo. 
and release it. And then you can say, here, we'll, in fact, we'll adopt this bongo, look. Then we can say that the research we did with the cheetahs ended up helping us out. And we'll release this guy to the wild. With research on the comprehensive conservation thing. Because look, now we have released two animals. Yay! So that is another way you can go about things. You don't have to only breed that animal if you can find them. <gasps> Bella, yes! Yes, Bella! Come on, African buffalo babies! Come on, Morgan! We might look for somebody with higher fertility. Oh, Morgan. Yes! We have an African buffalo baby on the way! Oh, that makes me happy. We might still look for a male with higher fertility to trade out for Morgan. <laughs> oh, and Karma the second is having her baby soon! All right, hang on. It's giraffe time. Every single, every single time we come here to Sahula Sands, I need just a moment with my giraffes. Oh, look at them. Those long necks. Those long tongues. Oh, I adore them. But yes, so that's going to be something that we're going to be doing as well, is spending our conservation credits to adopt cheap animals from the animal market and trade out for the Comprehensive Conservation Challenge. But we're going to say that that's just kind of like the fact that all of the whoa careful there ladies the fact that all of the animals that we are researching here contribute to that so it's not like cheating it's just using our resources creatively that we've earned elsewhere also these guys are so hungry oh my gosh we might need to double check how many giraffes we have but okay so all of that yammering aside we're going to work on those buffalo now first things first we need to figure out where we might have any facilities that help with education because I think we've removed all of the research spots like I don't think we have a research facility so that our staff can actually actually do any research oh there's some high demand going on on some of these ATMs interesting I almost never look here so it's really kind of fun to take a peek all right we've got toilets we've got merchandise We've got, let's see. Ah, that's for staff. We have one quarantine. We do have some research centers. So we do have a research center over here. We have one over there and we have one over here. So where is archeologist Relia if she cannot? Um, Yeah, she should be able to reach that research center. Let's double check. Yeah, the paths are connected. So maybe we need to take Relia off of working on other things so that she can just focus. But may oh, I bet because there's so many animals all the time. Yes, look at that. There's so many animals all the time. I think that she just hasn't had any time to do any research. All right, is this in the Vast Horizons work zone? It is. Okay. And then I also need to include. What is this work zone over here? There's Vast Horizons, Sahula Village, Mud Flats. Ah, that needs included in Mud Flats. There we go. All right, so I think the problem is that we actually need, yeah, like there's serious injuries. Angelica, why? I think we have too many, too many ostrich and they're, they're getting very fussy. So we need to release some of the ostrich as well. <laughs> oh. And the African wild dogs. Okay, okay. They're thinking about having some babies too. All right, so let's get more vets. If that's the case and we need more vets, let's go ahead and add in more vets because the vast horizons is quite vast and there's a lot of animals that need constant attention. And I think these buffalo just really don't like when the Jeeps are right next to them. So I wonder if we move all of the buffalo maybe over here, would that actually help them out? What? And why on earth are you stuck in here everywhere? All right, we'll move him over there. All right, everywhere is good. Kiwi is stressed. If I move Kiwi over here, can the buffalo just stay on this side? So we'll see if we can try moving all of the buffalo like here and putting down enough, enough things that it would make them content to just stay in this zone. Maya, Morgan. All right, maybe, because they're a lot less stressed. And so we'll see if we can move the buffalo and convince them to stay on this side or not. 
Um, and I think we might need more staff to tend to the vast horizons to make that happen. Phew, okay, so it's time for some, some training, some vet school. All right, and I think the best place to put our vets, let me check the work zone. Now, I think the best place, there's Ostrich Overlook right over here. And then we've got Horizon Climate, Hyena Heights and Village. All right, that's for the Hyena area. And Sahula Village is over here. And then we've also got, where's the Vast Horizon cover? It doesn't include these spots, but we're gonna include that. There we go. Because I need the staff to be able to rest at some of these huts, I think. Vast Horizon's there and there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we're gonna add in some new vets. So let's train ourselves up some vets. <gasps> yes! And really, I actually had like half a minute where she could do some research. Yes, okay. But clearly we need more. So let's come on in and we are now going to have, let me, there we go. One new vet. And this is going to be from our Patreon list for our staff, as always. These amazing patrons help us to really be able to keep all of our adventures going throughout the entire Pixel Biology channel. And this time, it's going to be Mika! So let's have Meerkat, uh, Meerkat Vet, Mika! Because Mika, your name's Mika, and I love Meerkats. And look, Mika is already, like, on the job. We'll take off Vet Research, and we'll leave everything else there. And we're going to put her on the Vast Horizons work zone. And we might need to add in a new... In fact, for, because of how many of the animals are injured lately, because we just have so many of them, um, we might need to go ahead and add in a new spot. Are you really going to come over and meet Amara? Amara, where are you going? You don't like being over here. The buffalo are just... They're being wild buffalo, I guess. There we go. There's Morgan. Come on. Are you guys still thinking about it? Okay, we need we need a male buffalo who has higher fertility. I think that's the bottom line is what we're learning here. Morgan doesn't have high enough fertility. So we'll work on that in just a second. Um, all right, do I have a good spot for another vet clinic? I, ooh, maybe in here somewhere, because I really feel like we need to get another vet clinic down if we're going to treat all of these animals. Staff facility. I want a vet surgery. Oh, there is just enough room! <gasps> okay! Will this make my guests mad to have a vet clinic here? I personally think it would be amazing to be able to see. It will not if I move it just right back here. And let's actually give this a cool new name, too. So this is going to be the new vet surgery. And this is going to be... Let me pull up a random name generator. This is going to be... Oh, I see. I see you have a ton of really good names. Wow. All right, I see. We're going to name this vet surgery after you. So this is going to be Icy's... Let's see. Icy's house. Icy's home. Maybe Icy's... We could just call it the Vet Training Center, actually. Vet Training Center. And then we'll add this to the Vast Horizons work zone. Because we got so many animals who need a little TLC. And then I think we'll also add it to... Not Mud Flats. Bachelor Oasis is over there. Ruins of Abbey Market? Yeah, we'll add it to the Ruins of Abbey Market. In case we need some treatment there. An ostrich overlook? Yes. All right. So many things going on. Hopefully that'll help out our new vets. And let's get down two more new vets. Just because I think we have so many animals. And this is going to be Ruben. So this is going to be um, wildlife rescuer. Ruben! Res rescuer. There we go. Ruben and Ruben, thank you so much for being one of our amazing patrons. Keeping it all coming, I'm telling you. It's essential because it takes away so much of the stress of keeping all of our adventures going. There we go. Had to find you on our list again. So we have Mika and Ruben. And let's get one more vet in. 
There we go. And I think I'll have no work zone on a couple of these guys. It'll probably tire them out for now, but I want to see where they tend to be needed the most. All right. And then this is going to be... Let's see. Across! So we have... Um, let's do vet expert across. And then... In fact, let's do emergency vet. That's a good idea. Emergency vet across! Another one of our fantastic patrons! There we go! And we'll get you trained up. You go ahead and do some work as well. Boom! We have another ostrich who's actually ready to be adopted out. As soon Come back over here, little one! <laughs> I'm ready to be adopted out because they're all fussing with each other. Phew! Okay! And now let's come back over and let's check in on our buffalo and see how they're doing. Angelica is injured again, so I think that means we definitely have too many adult ostriches in here and they're fighting about it. There's a lot of males. We'll release a ton of the boys to the wild. And then, yes, that's actually why they were unhappy. These are all the babies that had the audacity <laughs> to go ahead and be born when I was trying to reduce the ostrich population and I just forgot to put a couple of them on contraceptives. There we go. That should prevent any more any more ostrich issues over here. But all right, so now that we have managed that, let's see if we can get some buffalo research done and make our buffalo kind of happy. Habitat. They don't like the plants, but everything else is good about the habitat for our buffalo. I think what we have here is a problem with the fertility on our male. So I think we need to look for a new male it looks like most of the buffalo are now doing okay because we only have one pregnant female and with the buffalo populations we can actually keep a lot of females in this area we can have up to 14 females 14 so it'd be better to keep a male that has really high fertility and is just absolutely going to pull off having calves left and right with the buffalo females than to have a male with low fertility so let's go searching we're going to search for a african buffalo we'll just do just african buffalo for now who hopefully has really really high fertility and is a male huh all right 67 83 67 those are all females over here Man, so there is one male, but he's extremely expensive. <laughs> but he's he's got like the white gene too. And ah, uh, you know what, guys? We're going to do it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do it. We're going to adopt him. And is he young? He's only five years old. So that means that he would actually have... I mean, he could live to like a long time. Oh, Shy the Second is injured? No! Oh good, and our vet research is finally going along now that we have more vets who are able to help archaeologist Ralea out with her work. Alright, we're gonna do it! We're gonna get the really, like, amazingly expensive and very handsome male right over here. We did it. And then we'll try to get some new females, once the new females become available, uh, who have higher fertility because I think we'll, we'll search out for better fertility for a little bit. All right. And with all of that said, let's add this guy in. He looks amazing. And then if he and Morgan start fighting, we'll separate them by adopting Morgan out pretty quickly. All right. And that's done. So let's actually see if we can do any more research on. We need the bongos. Hopefully we'll be able to add bongos pretty soon. It's kind of fun to try to think how you can like circumvent having to just breed a bunch of animals and go super fast by just searching the market constantly to see if you can find something new to add. All right, plain zebra. We also need the American bison, African buffalo, American bison, bongo, plain zebra, and jaguar. Those are the comprehensive conservation challenge creatures. And now let's do a quick peek can I go ahead? There's some bongo available. There are actually some 300, 300 conservation credit buffalo or bison that are available. I'll go back and adopt him in just a second. We can't get the ones that can be adopted for cash because those can't be released into the wild. However, we could go for the ones that are like cheap conservation credits. Like this guy right over here. 
this jaguar we can actually adopt for 200 conservation credits. And then pop over here. And we will keep this just with African buffalo, American bison. And then we'll do the jaguar as soon as I find it. There we go. Jaguar, oh, bongo as well. Bongo and plains zebra. So many cool animals to work with. All right, and here we are. So we do have a male plain zebra named Darren. So we'll just go ahead and move Darren immediately in here because Simba the second passed away earlier in the episode. We have a very lovely female that we can actually go ahead and add in. Uh, we have another zebra herd over here. Hopefully we'll have better luck with that soon. Oh, I heard one of the baby cheetah chirp. Oh, that was so cute. And then for this male zebra, what we can do is we can just go ahead and immediately release him into the wild. There we go. And we don't get a lot of, um, we don't get like a lot of conservation credits for that, but we did move up one of the challenge levels. And what we can do now is the cheetah cubs actually grew up before I was ready for them to. And they're fighting, like, immediately. So we didn't even get a chance to hang out with these cheetah cubs. All right, all right, all right. You guys need to all calm down. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that is really cool to kind of see, though. So the cheetahs are ready to go find homes of their own, and their mother, Lily, is actually still pretty young. Let me let me find Lily. Dabir is fighting. Oh, Dabir and Lily are fighting. All right, and Lily, who is your mate? Zahur. All right, so Lily is eight years old right now. How long do Cheetah normally live? 14. She's still got time to have more children. So what we're gonna do is Lily is clearly ready to send her, her children away. So if we grab those kids and release them into the wild, that is 15,000 conservation credits. Boom, thank you, Cheetahs. And then we can take those 15,000 conservation credits, go back into the animal market. This is all the yammering I was doing earlier. And we can just start looking for really cheap, there we go, really cheap conservation credits on these guys. As soon as I, I think I freaked it out, there we go. Like, voila, here is a jaguar. So if we spent 15,000, so there's 500. And then here's 800. 900, 100, 1100, and we'll adopt two more of these. Excellent, excellent. And then we can trade these guys, release them out to the wild. And like that, ta-da! We get more points there! Yes! I think managing the trade center is really a fun way to do this. And it makes it a lot easier to make progress versus the waiting for the babies to grow up. And I like how we can just say that it's from the research we've done with the cheetah because it's thanks to the cheetah cubs who were born that we got those conservation credits to start playing with. And so it is still the strength of Suhula Sand Safari making this possible. Plus, it's also really fun to do it this way because then we get to imagine how much fun it is for the people who wanted those conservation credits to be able to get them. So I, I really like doing it this way as well as having the actual babies born. <gasps> yes, and we have made it to silver level. Huzzah, you guys. That is how we're going to see some real progress, I think. All right, now we've got some conservation credits. <laughs> I really want a new hat. I always want a hat in these. <laughs> All right, so we've gone ahead and claimed those. Thank you very much, Lily the Cheetah. It was your children's research who allowed us. Oh, Temptation, rest in peace, Temptation. <laughs> oh, she was such an old girl. Oh, I need a new giraffe tree. It's been ages since we've had a new giraffe tree. I need to put one down in, in honor of temptation. I loved her. People are going to have to walk around this path very carefully now. But this is going to be giraffe tree of temptation memory. There we go. Rest in peace, temptation. Rest in peace. Um, oh, and Daffodil the common warthog is about to die of old age. Oh, geez. How do I have a 17-year-old warthog already? <gasps> and Bella just had her baby! Yes! We have got some wildlife! We've got some offspring! Where did- where is it? Where- where? Where? Where's your child? I would like- I would like very much to see. <gasps> it's so cute! It's so cute! It's so cute! It's so cute! I didn't expect it to be so cute! 
Okay, you guys, and now we have our very first ever little bison baby. I completely was not prepared for it to be this adorable. And I think we're gonna go ahead and name this little one. Is it a boy? I think it's a boy. This little one's gonna be Blake. There we go. We'll name him Blake. He is so freaking cute. I am so happy to have him. And then let's rename this really amazing male African buffalo. And this is actually going to be Kasten. Ooh, I like that. After Jesse Kasten. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of elephant poop in the background right now. <laughs> oh no, and Silver, the West African lion, has just passed away of old age. Oh no. But I suppose, my friends, that that means it is time to go ahead and see if Ira, in his old age, will be able to find a new social group of his own. So we'll be looking for some female lionesses next time, too. Whew! All right, I think we got the African buffalo like problem figured out. And we'll just kind of keep our eyes open for another male African buffalo with even higher fertility who might be able to bump Morgan out of the way. Eh, pardon me. Who might be able to bump Morgan out of the way and help us with this comprehensive conservation challenge. But otherwise, working on the buffalo. A little bit of information about them is starting to pour in. <gasps> Kiwi's about to mate! Oh, Morgan's like doing his best. He's like, I've got to hurry. There's competition now. All right, come on, Kiwi. Come on, Kiwi. Yes! And Kiwi is now expecting! Ha! Huh, maybe we just needed to start doing good research on these guys. But all right! Oh, dear. Oh, my. I... Okay, then. Didn't think the rhino was supposed to be doing that, but we'll worry about that later. But all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. If you guys could, do please leave a like for little Blake who has just been born into the grand new adventure of life. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, oh yes, we've got another one. We're learning more about the buffalo. Then do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.